All right, so I seem to have lost my tripod for my phone. Um, so I'm trying to uh, rig it differently. But I am super excited. I bought some lights for out here in the garden. And they are little dragonflies. I have a special thing for dragonflies um, and a special story behind why I like dragonflies. But these light up and they're supposed to be solar. And so I don't need to run electricity for them. I ordered them off Amazon. But I brought the stable gun out here and I'm going to hook them up out here. I'm thinking I'm going to run them along the uh, bottoms of the raised beds. I'm just not sure on the length and all of that. Oh, so here's the little solar panel and then all the lights. Um, I think they light up like green, red, blue, but um, we'll just have to see and find out. So this goes in here and this tilts and tightens by this little knob. It just slides in. Let's see how it does. I tried to turn. Should I just sit there? I tried to turn. Oops. I tried to turn the solar part towards the sun so that maybe it can get some sun before the sun goes down. <sighs> hey guys, so the sun is setting over here behind me and I thought I would share it with you. But this evening I came out here and I pruned some things. I've got green fingers from playing with the tomatoes and uh i this year i'm staking my tomatoes previous years i've put them in cages but um i was putting out stakes and tying them up a little bit and i didn't bring the camera with me because i just wanted to relax and enjoy it's actually cooled down quite a bit it's been really hot here really humid like high 80s days and it's just hot there's not much of a breeze but i have noticed tonight when I was uh, pruning stuff that I've got a couple pests. Um, I've seen a couple aphids on my tomatoes. Not like a whole lot, but on a couple of them I did. And then my beans over here have a lot of bug activity on their leaves and they're browning. Um, so I was just going to put a little neem oil in a spray bottle and uh, spray them or spray one of them. This neem oil uh, says to apply early morning or late evening. Do not apply neem oil in direct sunlight and always spot test first for sensitivity to spray. So I'm going to spot test this first since I have not used this product before. Um, Jess from Roots and Refuge recommended this brand of neem oil. Uh, the kids are over here. Over there, playing with the dogs. But this little bottle, I think I paid like $16 or $17 for. Um, but it only is a, a teaspoon to a teaspoon and a half of this and some mild dish soap and a quart of water so like 
this will last me a pretty long time if I'm only using a teaspoon or a teaspoon and a half uh, in some water. So I thought I would share that with you guys. I'm going to make this up and whoops. <laughs> I'm gonna go make this up in a spray bottle and uh, test one of my beans. Alrighty, so I got my sprayer here that I bought specifically for this purpose. So I'm going, I'm gonna spray this bean here Cat. all by itself. Alrighty, so I spotted that one and we'll see how it does. Um, I'll come out tomorrow morning and see if it looks alright. Um, and if it does, I will probably spray more tomorrow morning. Uh, and hopefully it will help. It is supposed to rain the next couple of days. So I was hoping to spray before it rains and then spray a little bit more after it rains. And then just kind of try and keep on top of the pests here in the garden.